Hunts. And today we're on the Gloucester Canal along with Sean Ashby just to do a little bit of bloodworm and joker fishing. A lot of people get very confused with joker, but it's the simplest bait on earth to use. I bought this pack straight online today and it comes, it's Russian joker. People say, oh, I don't like Russian joker, prefer the English, but we never have a problem with it. We go all over Europe and we use Russian joker everywhere. The secret of the joker is when you keep it in the fridge, it goes very cold and very still. But if you get out in the sunlight for just, a, just like 20 minutes or so, it starts to liven up and it looks like proper joker. The secret to this is, well, when you want to feed it, the best way is to add a little bit of sieve damp lean, put it in the joker and mix it up. What you find then is each joker becomes separated, making it far easier to put into your ground bait. A bit more. Well, make sure you, you sieve the, uh, the lean before you put it into the joker. You don't want many big lumps of lean in the joker itself. And you see there, it's all not nicely split up, ready to go into the ground bait itself. But as importantly as a joker, oh, just want my hands, is the bloodworm. Bloodworm needs to be looked after. And that's why I use one of these little bait tubs and riddles. What you find is the joker, the bloodworm, sorry, sits on top of the riddle and then that sits in a little tub of water, keeping it fresh all the time. And as you use it throughout the day, you can simply take the, the sieve out, the riddle out, change the water, drop it back in clean water, keeps it nice and fresh for at least three or four hours. You'll probably find after three or four hours, or three hours for example, you need to completely do a complete washout and then put your bloodworm back in the top of the tray again, fresh water, and start from square one again. Never put all of your bloodworm in the tray at the start of the match. Always keep 20-30% back to make sure you've got some fresh for the second half of the match. Because no matter how you look after it, your hands are dirty, they go into the water, and you, then, then the bloodworm starts to deteriorate. So always keep some in reserve. One of the most important things when you're fishing with bloodworm and joker is just to keep an accurate measure of what you're using and then it gives you a reference point for when you go back and fish next time. For example, today I'm using a very simple mix, it's black grouse cardon, lake 3000 and 50% lean. And I'm going to throw three litres in at the start, which is four of these tubfuls. That's what's going to be thrown at the start on my long line. Now my long line, I've determined by doing this. The maximum depth of the canal on this, on the, at this particular peg is about 12 and a half metres. On this particular canal, I don't like fishing at the maximum depth. So I've come back about half a metre, I'm fishing 12 metres, which is about three or four inches less than maximum depth. That gives me two opportunities. I can fish on the bottom, but just by shipping a little bit further out, I can actually fish off the bottom without bothering to change my rig. And I'll do exactly the same close. I'm fishing about nine and a half foot close on a real steep slope, dropping the ground bait a little bit short so it tumbles down the slope and gives me the opportunity to fish just past it off the bottom, just inside of it on the bottom. And then you're killing two birds with one stone. So that's the ground bait that's going in at the start. Now into that I'm putting next to nothing. When I say a pinch, that's all it is. Pinch of joker, nothing else. That's all the joker I'm using in that. And then, excuse me one minute. I'm just gonna put a very small pinch. Watch the bike, there you go. All right, cheers. A very small pinch of pinky. Just a little bit of uh, a contrast colour of bait to lie on the bottom. And I think that works quite well here for skimmers and bream. That's my balling mix done. Now my second mix is going to be my top-up mix. I'm using the same ground bait again, but this time, in three quarters of a litre, I'm going to actually add a full 250 of 250 joker. So that now is quite a, a, a rich mix. Not overly rich, we do mix it richer at times, but that's my 
topping up mix after I've, after I've boiled at the start. I will also be putting three balls of this mix potted on the same line as I'm boiling. On the inside line, I'm simply putting two balls of the normal mix and then one ball of the rich mix. So let's get started. <laughs> 